your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, we're still watching the tropics. Some things are going on. We have the hurricane out here, Larry. We have what was a tropical storm, Mindy, which came across the Northeast Gulf overnight. We're watching the Caribbean area pretty close as well. It's a lot of convection down here, and I think we're going to see something develop and then head up towards probably Texas or Louisiana by the weekend. Early next week could be some very heavy rain, so something we'll keep an eye on as we head through time. But the tropics remain active and probably going to get more active in the Gulf of Mexico in the coming days. Around here, though, beautiful weather. We had seven. 76 for the high today, 54 the low. Those numbers are below the average of 82 and 58. No rain, though. It's been pretty dry, and we could use some rain. Don't see much of that coming in the next few days, it looks like. Sunrise, sunset for tomorrow. There's the amount of daylight, and the river stage in Terre Haute is just over 4 feet, and it is stationary. At the airport in Terre Haute, it's 77, but the humidity is only 42%, so 77 only feels like 78. Beautiful weather. And we got those northwest winds coming in at about 7 miles per hour. Temperatures are in the 70s everywhere. 73 Crawfordsville, 78 over Mattoon, and 80 degrees down here in Vincennes for the warm spot. But the dew points are nice. When you have dew points in the low 50s, really, really nice weather. And that's what we're looking at. The humidity levels are down. Water vapor satellite, nothing going on west of this area. We're in good shape. When you look at the satellite, look at this. Nothing out here. So we've got some nice weather, although it is going to start to heat up as our winds go to the south. And we start to see those southerly winds bringing the temperatures up starting tomorrow, but then really kicking in by the weekend. Satellite and radar, nothing to show you. We have a few of those clouds out there today. We call those fair weather cumulus. It didn't build up very high in the atmosphere. They'll go away this evening with the sun going down. All clean on the Dorset automotive Doppler radar. So overnight, clear skies, cool weather tomorrow. A lot of sunshine once again. Looks very nice again during the day tomorrow. Just slightly warmer as our winds will go to the south. Tomorrow night looks good if you're going to be out doing anything. And Saturday looks great as well, although it is going to start to warm up. It gets a little bit more humid by the upcoming weekend. Longer term, we don't see much of a chance of rain for a while. Our front will stall north of here, keeping us hot and dry. Eventually, the front may get a push to get into this area along about next Tuesday night or Wednesday with a chance of some showers and some storms. Behind that, still going to be warm even as we head into later next week. And I can kind of show you the temperature trend here. There's the heat. Here's the very nice weather. This nice weather kind of leaves, and the heat builds in for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The front comes in, might knock the temps down just a little bit, but we're still staying above normal, it looks like, for all of next week. And that trend is going to stay with us. So if you like warm weather, you're going to like this. September 17 to 23rd, above normal temperatures. Precip probably near normal to a little bit above normal. So if you like the warmer weather, we've got plenty of it, it looks like, moving back our way. Forecast tonight, 54, kind of cool, mostly clear skies out there. During the day tomorrow, some sunshine, a little bit warmer. Highs are right around 80 or 81. And then after that, here comes that summer heat just in time for the weekend. It will be a dry weekend, approaching 90 on Saturday, 92 on Sunday, 91 on Monday. So we're not done with the 90s yet. Still almost 90 on Tuesday. Chance for a few showers Wednesday along that front. And then after that, slightly cooler weather as we head into Thursday. That's a wrap on the forecast. Sports is coming up next. What are the keys to victory when North and South meet?